far as I can see, there's nothing un unconstitutional. Uh, every country has its uh, constitution. Uh, I see nothing that's happened that is uh, unconstitutional. It's unusual, yes. But we've had unusual things in the UK. We were supposed to have a fixed term parliament, five years fixed. But we never got that far. It was cut short. So these things happen, these things change. Uh, and I'm sure those who are involved, particularly the president, who is elected, an executive, uh, he will have acted in the interest of the country. Of that I'm quite sure. I've met him on a number of occasions. I think he's a very wise man. And I'm sure whatever action he's decided will have been in the interest of the country. I haven't read the Constitution in great detail, uh, but it's there, uh, and there are many lawyers who will have slightly different views, I'm sure. But that's the challenge with lawyers. Uh, and it's not for a foreigner uh, to determine whether it's constitutional or unconstitutional. And I am unhappy that a former uh, British uh, junior minister put down a question suggesting it was unconstitutional. That is not the role, I believe, of the UK parliamentarians. You know, you have your own constitution. We as UK, who, people who take an interest in Sri Lanka, of course want to help Sri Lanka. But I've been very careful over my own 50 years plus of never supporting any one party or doing any business. And I would suggest to my colleagues that they do exactly the same.